So, do I have a surprise for you today? To be true, I want this so much, but don't know if I can trust you. My mind's racing fast, trying to find the red flags I'm used to. All these green lights, are they coming too soon? Cut between red and the green, and you. I'm stuck in the blue. Hey guys, uh, welcome. So, do I have a surprise for you today? A battery powered cooler. I didn't even know that existed until recently. So, this cooler is pretty unique. Um, before we dive into it, let me go over a couple aspects of it. First of all, as you guys can see here, I am actually powering it with a solar panel. And it is actually charging the internal battery that's removable right here. Uh, you can also power it with a DC cigarette lighter plug in your vehicle. And it also comes with a wall plug. This is pretty unique because I've had this in my truck now for about five days nonstop. So the reason I purchased this guys was because I was getting sick and tired of putting ice in a cooler. Because we'll, we'll throw a cooler in the back of the truck or on a trailer. And what happens is not only every day do you need to put ice, but the other problem is, is that it gets dirty, really dirty. The cooler gets really dirty, inside the cooler gets really dirty. You gotta dump the water out, clean everything out, put water back in, I mean, um, put ice back in. So I was looking for a solution to eliminate all of that. That way I could just basically let it run when the truck is running and when the truck is off, it'll still run under its own power. That's what makes this unique. Not only that, if you're going camping, boondocking, um, if you're living in your RV, uh, you know, anything that you need a refrigeration source, this is definitely a solution. So let's dive into it. All right, so this unit is pretty unique. Okay, so right now we have it being powered by a solar panel. The solar panel is essentially not only running the, the, the cooler, but it's also charging the removable battery right here. Okay, this is pretty cool. It's during the daylight right now, so it's going to be hard to see the lights, but there's four lights. Uh, it's a little hard to see on the camera here, but maybe I'll give you guys a shot in the shade so you guys can see what it says. It's currently at 33 degrees, and this has been running nonstop for about five days, guys. I actually just removed it from my truck um, just to kind of show you guys, you know, what it's all about. And I had a 100-watt solar panel just laying around, so I figured just go ahead and plug it in just to keep it up nice and cold and keep the battery fully charged. Now, um, not only can you running on solar, so here's the solar input right here, PV. But on this side right here, this is actually a dual plug. Uh, this plug right here, um, you can either use a wall outlet or it comes with a cigarette lighter plug for like your vehicle that you just plug in there. And you can power this with your vehicle. Now, the best thing about this is some of the other type of coolers like Dometic. I own a Dometic. I own their biggest one they sell. And it works great. But the problem is, is that it doesn't have any type of um, battery source to keep it running. So it means that if you plug into your vehicle normally with a different type of cooler, what will happen is as soon as you turn off your truck or your car, if that plug that you're plugged into is not still powered, meaning it's not powered um, constant, then basically it shuts off and your cooler now is starting to now get warmer slowly because there's nothing to keep it running. Now, if you do have a powered plug in your truck or car, then there is a setting on top of the other coolers, even this cooler, that allows you to set the minimum voltage before it cuts off so it doesn't drain your car battery but the point of point of it is is that you will still end up having this your old unit you know like the dometics or the other brands shut off eventually right and so that's an issue so i was looking for a solution to solve the ice issue but not only that so it could just run so when i go to a job site you know i have this in the back of my um truck you know in the back seat to keep it nice and clean and when the truck is off the 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 plug that it's plugged into is not powered anymore. It's only powered when the vehicle is on. So that means that it's running under its own power, under the battery, its own battery. And that's nice because it keeps it cold all day. And when I jump into the truck to go to another job site, it's tr it's recharging the battery. Not only that, running the, the, the cooler 
simultaneously, right? It's, it's running at the exact same time. So that's pretty cool. So I drive to the next job site. It's already charging, ready to go. Now the battery does last a long time. I, I've actually left this in the truck, like I said, for five days nonstop. And when I get home in the afternoon, you know, I turn my truck off and there's no more power going into this unit. It is just running on its own battery. And it's able to maintain um, running this refrigerator all night long until I get ready to get back in the truck in the morning to go to the next job site. So this is very, very useful because everything's nice and cold. You know, you go to the store, you grab a couple things, you throw it in there. So uh, I have some teas and some water. Uh, I'm just trying to keep it clean. Uh, you know, there's enough room in here that you could easily throw some food if you needed to. Um, this can actually freeze whatever you put in here. So you can keep it as a regular refrigerator or you could actually freeze the food that you're trying to put in it, okay? So this is very, very nice. It does come with some nice wheels right here. Some nice heavy duty wheels. So this is um, solid rubber. Uh, the extendable arm right here, so that way you can um, transport it around is all metal, except for the plastic right here, but all metal. So very positive connection. So that way if you wanna wheel it around on the beach or you're going boondocking or tailgating or whatever you're doing, you know, it's gonna be easy for you to haul around. They also have some straps that um, you can put some straps through to strap everything down to whatever you want to as well. This is a very unique unit, okay? Very unique. Now, you can get more batteries if you want to. I actually have a secondary battery, but I've never had to use it yet. But I do have it on hand if I ever need it, you know? Um, let's say that you're, you're not gonna plug it into solar or whatever it is, you know? Um, and you just need to, you know, keep it powered. You can easily swap, swap the battery out if you need to. So this might be a solution for you. This is a solution for me. Now, I'm not getting paid to talk about their product. I was just looking for a solution that would work for me. And I paid for this with my own money. Now, obviously something like this is gonna be cost a little bit more than a regular basic cooler, you know? There's many coolers out there as far as uh, where they're not powered, right? You know, there's Yetis and all this and that, but it still requires ice. You know, it still requires all of that, you know? And there's a time and place for everything. There's a time and place for that type of cooler, and there's definitely a time and place for this type of cooler. And this definitely fits my needs, and I'm extremely happy with it. The next thing is gonna be to see how long will this actually last over, you know, a long period of time, years. So I'm interested to see how long it lasts, but so far, um, I've had no problems. Um, I'm just gonna throw it in the back of the truck and just leave it in there. Uh, unless I don't need it, then I'll take it out and turn it off. But other than that, no matter where I go, what I'm doing, I will always have something nice and cold to drink or eat or, you know, my food won't spoil. This is, this is an awesome solution. The ability to have it be self-powered with its own internal battery that's removable, that is, that is a game changer. Not only that, the opportunity to, you know, keep it going with a solar panel, you know, running it under solar, that is awesome. You know, if you're, if you got a cabin someplace, this, this is a good setup. You know, you can get a bigger size if you need to, or you can get multiple of them. You can have one for a complete freezer and one for a refrigerator. You know, there's many options. And then also being able to power it with your vehicle, you know? So there's a lot of pros to this. And this actually has an LG compressor in it. So, you know, they're not using some type of cheap compressor. LG compressors are, are decent compressors. You know, they're good compressors. And this thing will actually cool down whatever you're putting in there quick. And the power consumption from this, when it's actually being, when it's running like this, even without anything plugged into it, and just running under its own battery, it is extremely efficient. It is quite impressive how these guys were able to um, engineer something like this. You know, so good job to AC Power and Lion Cooler. Good job to them, because they did a great job. Hope this helps you guys out. I'll see you guys on the next one.